Imagine digging into your garden soil and watching it come alive, rich dark earth crumbling in your hands teeming with sleek wriggling earthworms. For any gardener that's the dream. Earthworms aren't just signs of healthy soil, they are builders of it. These underground allies break down organic matter, aerate the soil, and enrich it with castings more potent than any store-bought fertilizer. But here's the part most gardeners overlook. Worms thrive when the above-ground ecosystem supports them. You don't just feed worms with kitchen scraps or mulch. You invite them in and keep them by choosing the right living companions. Certain plants work behind the scenes to attract worms, feed microbes, balance the soil, and keep pests at bay. These aren't just garden additions, they're worm magnets. So if your goal is to create a worm-rich, low-maintenance garden that practically feeds itself, this video is for you. Let's dive into the best companion plants to keep earthworms happy and your soil thriving all season long. Before we get into the list of worm-friendly plants, let's take a step back. What makes earthworms stick around in one patch of soil? Three things, food, moisture, and a stable, chemical-free habitat. Companion plants can help regulate all three. Their roots create networks that hold moisture in the soil. Their leaves, once pruned or dropped, become soft mulch. Many deter pests naturally, reducing the need for harsh sprays. And others enrich the soil with nutrients or support microbial life, indirectly nourishing the worms below. In short, good companions don't just help your veggies grow. They create a living buffet and a perfect shelter for worms. Marigolds do more than brighten your borders. Beneath the surface, their roots exude compounds that repel root-knot nematodes. These are microscopic pests that can destroy worm habitat and honestly make the soil a pretty hostile place. When planted next to tomatoes, peppers, or beans, marigolds act as a barrier keeping these harmful invaders at bay. The result? Earthworms can tunnel safely uninterrupted in soft, healthy soil. Beyond pest control, marigolds shed plenty of biomass, fallen petals and trimmed stems that decompose quickly. As they rot, worms flock in, feeding on the microbes breaking the material down. So, think of marigolds as dual-purpose beauty above, buffet below. If marigolds are the defenders, nasturtiums are the decoys. These cheerful trailing plants are famous for attracting aphids and whiteflies, keeping them away from your vegetables. But this also means they draw in beneficial predators, like ladybugs and lacewings, which help restore balance. While worms don't eat bugs directly, they benefit when pest pressure is low and the need for chemical control disappears. More importantly, nasturtiums contribute tender organic matter that breaks down quickly. When pruned regularly or allowed to die back at season's end, their remains feed microbes that worms adore. In cooler climates, nasturtiums also provide ground cover that shades the soil and keeps worm tunnels from drying out too fast. Legumes like bush beans, pole beans, and even peas are more than just productive crops, they are soil builders. These plants form relationships with nitrogen-fixing bacteria at their roots, pulling nitrogen from the air and making it available to the soil. For earthworms, this enriched environment becomes a nutritional jackpot. Not only does it support lush above-ground growth that provides cover and mulch, but it also supercharges microbial activity, and worms, as we know, follow the microbes. After harvesting, chopping up the roots and leaves of beans and mixing them into the top few inches of soil gives worms a gentle, steady food source that improves soil texture as it breaks down. You know, herbs like basil thyme, rosemary, and oregano might seem like just delicate additions to a veggie patch, but they actually play outsized roles in creating a worm-friendly ecosystem. Their strong scents naturally repel pests like whiteflies, cabbage moths, and even mosquitoes. Pretty neat, right? Fewer pests mean fewer interventions, which allows your garden to stay organically balanced. And here's something that's often overlooked. How herbs like basil and thyme contribute biomass through frequent harvesting. It's like a win-win for your garden. 
Those clipped leaves and stems, when dropped around plants or added to mulch, break down pretty fast. The soft tissue provides quick food for bacteria and fungi, the same organisms worms feast on. It's all part of the cycle, isn't it? Rosemary and thyme also act as living mulch in warm climates, shielding the soil from harsh sunlight, reducing evaporation and helping keep the topsoil moist and cool, conditions earthworms love. Some plants fly under the radar but play important roles in underground health. Dill, with its airy foliage, allows light into the lower canopy while attracting beneficial insects. Sage, often planted for its pest-repelling powers, also provides dense root systems that stabilize soil structure. Mint deserves a special mention. Though invasive if not contained, mint cools the soil with its thick canopy and contributes a ton of green matter when harvested. Its roots also support a web of microbial activity, which indirectly feeds the worms below. Just be sure to grow it in containers or root-bound beds to prevent it from taking over your garden. Even with the perfect plants in place, worms won't thrive without the right conditions. Companion plants contribute to the ecosystem, but you have to support the system overall. Start by mulching generously around plant bases using soft green materials like pruned herbs or nasturtiums mixed with brown materials like dried leaves or shredded newspaper. This mimics a forest floor, where worms feel at home. So, you really want to avoid using synthetic fertilizers or pesticides even around your companion plants. Chemicals can totally destroy the microbial life that worms rely on or, you know, make the soil way too acidic. If you need to boost nutrients, just stick with compost, vermicompost, or maybe even compost tea. Make sure to water consistently, especially around herbs and those shallow-rooted flowers. Moisture actually encourages deeper worm burrowing and helps prevent tunnels from collapsing. It also helps soft plant matter decompose more quickly, speeding up the food chain that leads to worm abundance. Companion planting isn't just about better vegetable yields or prettier borders, it's about building a full ecosystem. When you choose the right plants, you do more than support your crops. You create shade, moisture, protection, and food for the creatures that build healthy soil from the ground up. You know, earthworms may be silent and invisible most of the time, but honestly, they are among the most powerful allies you'll ever have in the garden. Every marigold you plant, every bean root you chop into the soil, and every handful of nasturtium leaves you let decompose. These small choices send a big message. This soil is alive. And when the worms arrive, you'll see the proof. Rich, dark, sweet-smelling earth that grows stronger with every season. If this guide helped you plant a more worm-friendly garden, don't forget to subscribe to Hydrohaven. Share this video with your gardening friends, and leave a comment below with your favorite companion plant. There's more to discover just beneath the surface, so keep digging with us.